All right, so here we go to starting five. Bradley Butler, Natalie McNeil, Casey Schultz, Jasmine, and Natty Scherer for Green Bay. In Tennessee, we got Drew Spear, Jasmine Powell, Sarah Puckett, Rakia Jackson, and Tamari Key. Uh, Tamara, Tamari, yeah, Tamari Key as your starting fives for Green Bay and for uh, University of Tennessee. And this game has officially tipped off, ladies and gentlemen. And Tennessee will win the tip here. And it's going to be deflected. It's going to be out of bounds, and it will be Tennessee's ball here. So make sure y'all come on in and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let me just check the... All right, so here we go. Not surprised you doing a Tennessee game. Hey, don't judge me. Don't judge me. I haven't did a Tennessee game yet since the, since the tournament started. All right, so Green Bay 2. And here goes the drop to the basket. It's going to look. And the shot is good. All right, here goes Tennessee. Here we go. We're going to have it here. Give me one second while I get the game the game board on here. And that's a good shot by Tennessee here. All right, so here we go. Come on. All right, so Rakia Jackson. That was Rakia Jackson for the the shot here. There goes Green Bay. Green Bay's going to go, and that's going to be out of bounds, and that's going to be a turnover, and it will be Tennessee ball. What's up, Anthony Price? What's going on? I did the Gremlin game and Purdue game last night. That's one game I did do. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, so here we go. And here goes the shot. Shot is no good. We'll get rebounded by Green Bay. And that's going to be over on the wing here. Rakia Jackson do miss the jumper here. And a good shot made by Green Bay here to tie the game up at four. 8-17 left in his first quarter. All right, so here we go. Powell's going to have it, going to give it off to Jackson. Jackson has to give it off to Key. Key is going to have it, goes up, and the floater is good for Tamari Key. And here goes the right, the left wing for Green Bay. And she's going to pull for the three. And that three is wide, hard, is way too hard. Hits them straight on the backboard. Give it to the big man. Big, big woman is going to have it, is going to drive, and she split between two defenders. And they make sure they have 10 seconds left on the shot clock. And she's going to try to drive and try to step back. No, she don't get nothing there, but hands it back off to her. And that's going to be a shot. The shot is good for Green Bay. That's a good possession, but Tennessee got to be better. Tennessee has to be better here. But Maddie, you know, Maddie, I think that was Maddie that made the shot there. All right, so here goes the pick. Here goes Jackson. Jackson's going to get it. Give it off the key again. Key's going to have it, and that's going to be an offensive foul on Tamari Key. Offensive foul on Tamari Key. Cassie Schultz made the jumper. Cassie Schultz made the jumper. So Kevin Borsev is his 14th NCAA tournament appearance as the Green Bay's coach. One of the most successful programs in college basketball over the decades. Second stint for Kevin. So Tamari Key with the turnover. So here goes Green Bay. Green Bay's half is going to give it off to 21. 21 is going to have it here. It's going to drive over to the basket. Kicks it out. 21 goes back for the three. And that three is good. My God. Come on, Tennessee. What are we doing? What are we doing, man? Like, for real. And here goes the three. And that's going to be an off a defensive rebound by Green Bay. If we get upset today, that's going to be crazy. And here we go. And here goes 20. Go, go for her three. And that three is good. And we're going to have to call a timeout, Tennessee. What are we doing? There goes Jackson. Jackson's going to have looks. Turns inside. On the foul and one. The foul and one for Rakia Jackson. There we go. 
Play. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here's today's Need to Know, brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. You talked about the success of these two programs dating back to the start of the NCAA tournament. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's when we think about Tennessee and just never missing an NCAA tournament, I think Green Bay might have gotten lost to I me mean, because they're a mid-major, but two very successful programs, Kelly Harper telling us a tremendous amount of respect for Green Bay coming to this game. Not taking them lightly. And, just, and a foul shot. Is good, but 12 to 9 Green Bay over Tennessee right now. And here goes the ball movement here. 24 has it, gets it back to 21. 21 is going to have it, going to try to deny her the basketball, and she does. And it's going to go with her right, drive over to the basket, goes up, gets the layup, and the layup is no good. Defensive rebound by Tennessee. And Powell is going to bring it up for Tennessee here. Goes it up, give it to Rakia Jackson, and that is good with a good alley-oop there from Rakia Jackson. Now it's only a one-point game for Green Bay. You're seeing it now. She's off to a great start for Tennessee. She had 22 against South Carolina. In their and that's going to be a foul on Tennessee here. She had 19 of her 22 in the second half, so picking up where she left off. The GMs at the WBA love to see this play. I mean, she can score anywhere on the court, showcasing some athleticism there. You know, let's, let's talk about it. Not really named the AP All-American team. You asked her about that yesterday. Yeah, what did yeah. she say? She said, I could care less. Her teammates, very different. They, they uh, took to social media defending her, just saying that she's all awesome. All right, so here we go. And here goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have is going to set the pick here with nine seconds left on the shot clock. Here goes Green Bay. She's going to try to spin. Goes up. Gets the shot there. And what a good shot by Green Bay. They came out on all cylinders today with 520 left in this quarter. And here goes Powell. Powell's going to come with the pick. And going to give it off. It's going to be give it off to. And it's going to be a foul away from the basketball here. All right, so here goes the inbound. Here goes Tennessee. Going to drive with a right. Steps back. Loses the basketball. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. We'll try to reset real quick. Here goes the pick. Pick is heavy. Go to look. Back down. And it's going to square up. Kicks it back out. And it's going to pull for the three. And the three is good by Tennessee. There we go, baby. There we go. We needed that. We needed that. Let's go. Let's get back in this game. Come on. 440 left in the first quarter. Sarah Puckett with the three. And they respond right back with their three. God damn it, Green Bay. Responded right back with their three. Now it was a three-point game for Green Bay. Gives it off to Rakia Jackson. Rakia Jackson has it. She missed the layup. And it's going to be an offensive rebound, but it's going to be Tennessee's ball. Kaylee Jinky with the three-pointer. What's going on, Bay? Uh, what's going on, Bial? What's up, man? What's up, Bial? The men's and women's side. Come back for more. We are in for a great one. Uh, we're in for a good one here, y'all. We are in for a good one, but... You know, Tennessee Lady Vols, I got to do my game. Yeah, I got to do my game. But we, we, Tennessee got to play better defense. That's, that's just my personal opinion. Tennessee got to play better defense. There's no way that we're sitting here and we're down three, I guess, 11 Green Bay. I mean, they are the best. They are the 11th ranked team in this region. So I'm not underestimating them as much. But Tennessee defensively all year has not been great. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. We have not been great all year as, a, as me as a Tennessee fan. But it's good to see you too, out. It's definitely good to see you, brother. I really do um, appreciate the love and the support, man. I just try to do all women's college basketball. I try my best, you know. I just try to do my thing, that's all. I just try to do my thing, that's all. We just trying to rock out as much as possible. Let me share this on my Twitter real quick. So I did say I was going to share it real quick So let me just do that And show them some love You know Come on now All right. 
I'm just trying to promote this as much as possible. to my Twitter ladies and gentlemen just shared it to my Twitter but I am doing the game I am doing um, Iowa and Holy Cross um, to watch Caitlin Clark play so we could definitely watch that definitely be in the building for that I appreciate y'all, man. I really do appreciate y'all. All right, so we back with the game, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with the game. And a three is good. And like we're going to tie the ball game up here. I don't know who shot that three because it came right out the inbound. And it goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it here on the left wing. And give it off to 10. Tim gives it off to 22. And gives it off to 24. 24 is going to have it. And gives it off to 12. And that's going to be a foul away from the ball. And that was Tess Darby with the three-pointer. Tess Darby from Tennessee. That was a three-pointer from her. All right, so here we go. And that's going to be a block. What a good block there by Tennessee. And it's going to be out of bounds, and it will be a foul on Caroline Strippen. The SEC tournament. She can shoot it, but she can also defend it. And puck it with the block. It goes 24. 24 is going to have. Is going to give it off. Here goes the pick. Here goes the double team. Good switch there by Tennessee. Here goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to drive all the way with her left. Goes up. Fade away shot. And that's going to be a shot clock violation. That's going to be good defense by Tennessee here. Good defense. What's going on, Real to Goons TV? What's going on, my brother? What's up, man? All right, so we tied at 17 here. Tied at 17, and here comes Powell. Powell is going to have it here. And he's going to give it off to Rakia Jackson, the best player on this team for Tennessee. Kicks it out, and puck it for the three. His no, that's no good. It's going to be the offensive rebound here. Here goes Rakia Jackson. She's going to cross. She lost the basketball, and that's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be Tennessee ball. That is not off. That's off of Green Bay. I don't know what they arguing for. That's off of Green Bay, and it will be Tennessee's ball. All right, so 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Here goes the inbounds. Here goes Tennessee. Going to give it back. And what happened? I just confirmed as a journalist. Don't laugh. I said plural, right? She goes, yes. Games with an S on the end of it. We're not here just to show up and fight against Kelly Harper's team. We are here to win and move on to the Sweet 16. That's the kind of swagger that I think this Green Bay team has. It's not cockiness. I just sense a real genuine confidence with this Green Bay team. What's going on, y'all? What's up? What's up? What's up? Jasmine Powell with the offensive rebound there, but it's going to be another possession for Tennessee here. Trying to see what the call is. All right, the shot clock like is going to be set. So Tennessee is going to inbound the ball on the sideline. All right, so here goes the inbounds. They're going to run their play, and they're going to give it out to Jackson. Jackson's going to get the hit because she tried to go left, and she goes right, goes with the pick and roll with the layup, and that is good play by Tennessee there. That is a great play by Tennessee. 
Here goes Green Bay, 24 and has it. Gives it off back to 24. And he's going to give it to 22. 22 is going to drive on the left. Goes inside, going to the fadeaway shot. That is no good. And that is rebounded by Tennessee. Tennessee is getting some comfortability here. Here goes Powell. Powell's going to have, he's going to try to go inside, but they block it off. Gets it off. Give it to Pucky. Pucky's going to pull for the three. And that's going to be a blocking foul on Green Bay. And that's going to be away from the basketball. Yeah, that might be an offensive foul, unfortunately, but I don't think they're going to review it here with 234 left in the first quarter. Take some charges, get the big some foul trouble for Tennessee. All right, so here we go. And that's going to be a foul, and like Rakia Jackson's going to get tripped up, and it's going to be another possession for Tennessee. You know what I might do? Let me see this real quick. Yeah, I might just keep it like this. <laughs> I might just keep it like this. I like this a little bit better. It fills the actual thing up. You know what I'm saying? So. All right, so here goes Tennessee with the inbounds. Give it to Rakia Jackson. Jackson loses the basketball, and then like it's going to be a jump ball here. Like it's going to be a jump ball here for Green Bay. Just Trying to fix my camera, but hey. Little spot to clean up. Game so far, Eric. Try to make myself adjustable if that makes sense. All right, so Green Bay will get this basketball here. Green Bay will get it, and here comes 22. Gives it up to 24, and she has to here kicks it back out. And they're trying to give her the ball in the post, but it's not going to happen. And here we go, gets it off, and Green Bay pulls for the three. And that three is in and out, and that's going to be an offensive rebound by Green Bay here. Green Bay gets it for another possession with 18 seconds left for the shot clock. 153 left in this first quarter. They're going to drop all the way with the right. She goes up, Euro step, and that is a good play there. That is a great play there, but good offensive rebound. Here goes Tennessee. Give it off to Jackson. Jackson goes up, gets it right down, back down the court. There we go, baby. There we go. Maddie Schober with the – that was an offensive rebound by Herman. Here she goes. She's going to go. go back with her shot. And that shot is no good. Offensive rebound. We got to rebound better, man. I don't understand what Tennessee is doing. We need to rebound better. This is a tie game at 19. Here goes Tennessee. And Tennessee has it. And that's going to be a turnover by Tennessee. But it's like it's going to be a jump ball. And I don't know how Tennessee is struggling against Green Bay. I just don't understand that. How we are struggling against Green Bay. It makes no sense at all. But that was Maddie Schober, Maddie Sh uh, Shabir, Shady Schober, or how you pronounce it, um, with the that was made the last layup to tie the game up at 21. So 110, 110 left. Because this, this clock is behind. This clock is behind. 110 left, tied at 21. And here goes the inbounds. And here goes Pucky with the fadeaway shot. That is no good. Powell with the offensive rebound goes up, gets it. No foul call there. And there's going to be another offensive rebound. We go get it. And that's good. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. 23-21, under a minute left in this first quarter. Here goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it at the foul line. And gets it off. And she's going to try to drop baseline here. Gets double team, kicks it out. Give it to 22. Give it to oh, give it to 20. Well, is that number 12? Okay, number 12. And here goes 22. It gets it out. And that's going to be offensive foul. There you go. Good defense. There you go. Good defense there, Tennessee. We got to rebound better, man. We got to rebound better. That's one thing about us. We got to rebound better. So, Geyer with 
All right, so Tennessee will have it here. In the final minutes of the first quarter, 20 seconds left. Here goes Powell. Powell is going to have it here. Powell looks, goes up, and that's going to be overthrown. It's going to be a turnover. Turnover by Tennessee, and it will be Green Bay's ball with 13.3 seconds left. All right, so eight seconds left. Here they go. Good defense there. Make sure you don't give up a shot here. Let them miss the shot here. Pump fakes. And pump fakes again. Here she goes. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter, ladies and gentlemen. End of the first quarter. A very interesting first quarter here with Tennessee and Green Bay. I got to learn these names, though. I got to learn these names on the Green Bay side because uh, they're balling. This is, this is a game. This is a game, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry to tell you, but this is a game. Very competitive first quarter for Tennessee. Very competitive first quarter for Tennessee. Just to let y'all know, we will be live. We will be live uh, at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We will be live for Caitlin Clark's date. Well, not debut, but Caitlin Clark first in, in the Iowa Hawkeyes versus Holy Cross. So we will be in the building for that so make sure y'all come on in enjoy the live and let's have some fun man that's what that's what we're here to do we're here to have fun we here to have fun at the end of the day so we're gonna be rocking out like i just don't want to cater to the men's game you know what i'm saying I understand people want to come in and watch the men's game but I, I watch the women's game too unfortunately you know what i'm saying i watch the women's game i think the women's game is really competitive is really you know supportive so I, I'm going to show them love too You know what I'm saying I'm going I'm to show them love as well And I can get one of the two One of the three games done early I can take breaks in between You know what I'm saying I can take breaks in between You know what I'm saying All right, let me see if I can do this score thing for ESPN. Cause that's what I really want to do. I really want to keep this like right here and bring the score thing up. I might have to bring the height. Oh darn, I'm bugging. I did the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, I got to delete this. I know what this is. <clears throat> but shout out to everybody that's in the chat, man. Shout out to y'all. We are trying to get the game going really, really quickly. We are at a, officially at a timeout. So just, um, just rock with us here just you know i'm gonna try to see if i can get this thing rolling um the height i might make or make it 13 and make that thousand so we can at least see the scoreboard y'all feel what i'm saying But like the play by play. All right, here's where here we go. Here goes Green Bay. Green Bay has it right here. And here we go. Then going to have it go, go with the mid-range jump shot. And that shot is good with the mid-range. Jump ball was won by Green Bay there. But now it's 20 tied at 23. I don't know why it didn't update yet. You know, it's a little bit it's a little bit slow for, for ESPN. Here goes the three and respond back. There we go, baby. 
number zero for Tennessee. There we go, baby. 26-23 with 9-13 left. All right, so here goes the inbounds. It goes with the mid-range jump shot. Shot is no good. And that's going to be off of Green Bay, and it will be Tennessee's ball. Jewel Spear with the three-pointer. That was Jewel Spear with the three-pointer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so Powell, because uh, Powell, Powell's going to have it here. It's top of the key. Give it off to Jackson. Jackson is going to have it. Jackson's going to have it here with 13 seconds left on the shot clock. She's still dribbling. Everybody just needs to move. Jackson's going to drive over to the basket. She's going to lose it, and that's going to be a turnover by Tennessee. Here goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it. Way to stop it there, and that's going to be a travel. Four turnover for Green Bay. That's going to be a travel, and now that's a missed opportunity for Green Bay. And now, and that was a good play, too. That was a good steal by Maddie. That was a great steal by Maddie. I'm going to sit there and be completely honest. That was a great steal. Here goes Puckett. Puckett has it, and here goes Spear. Spear with the shot, and that is good. Jewel Spear with the shot. 28-23. It goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it here. She's going to try to back down on a smaller girl. Goes up, goes up, and gets the reverse layup, and that is no good, and that is key with the rebound, the defensive rebound. There you go. There you go. She's a playmaker. She's proven that she's not just a three-point shooter. She's definitely diversified her game this season. It's pretty well into the system and definitely starting to blossom, especially in March. Her game is coming alive. All right, so here we go. And Spear with another three. I mean, actually, that was Jewel. That was Powell with the three. I'm sorry. That was Powell with the three, and the three was missed. Green Bay wants to push off the miss. And it goes an open look, and that shot is good. I don't know why this looks like this. I don't like this at all. I'm sorry, y'all. What is this doing? All right, so 28 to 26. 28 to 26, we'll drive over to the basket. That was a good play by Powell there. There you go. 30 to 26 with 657 left. Requires a lot of defensive attention. It clears the lane for Powell. All right, so here we go. Here goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it here. And on the right wing, and she's going to set the pick. She's going to drive left, stop at the foul line. And that shot is no good, but there's going to be off of Green Bay, and it's going to be Tennessee ball. Tennessee Hoop takes it back to their previous basket a moment ago. Jasmine Powell. Makes Jasmine Powell, ladies and gentlemen. Jasmine Powell. Just clears a little bit of room for her to make that layup. Love the team basketball right now for Tennessee. I think that's when they're at their best. And Nikia Jackson can get it when she needs it, but when everybody is involved, all right, so here goes Jasmine Powell. Jasmine Powell's going to have it. Give it off to Key. And here goes the shot from Spear. And the shot is good by Jewel Spear. She has come in and be a catalyst to help out this Tennessee basketball team. And here goes Green Bay on the left wing. They're trying to get her the ball in the post. And here goes... 20, and that's, here goes the pick for Green Bay, drives with her left, stops at the foul line, gives it off, gives it back to her. Four seconds left for the shot clock, go with the shot. Shot is good. And Schultz with the jump shot there. Schultz was able to make the jump shot there. And a blocking foul is going to be called on Green Bay. Cassie Schultz made the jumper there. That was a good defensive jumper there. But, hey, it, it bumped in for her. It bumped in for her. So a foul was called with 543 left in the second quarter. And the foul is going to be on Jasmine Con Kondrakowicz. I think that's what Kondrakowicz. 543 left in the second quarter. And we're going to get two foul shots at the line. 
So Sarah Puckett will go to the line for two. And that first foul shot is good for Tennessee. And we just said, okay. I, I, I was the bad guy. I was the bad guy. Let's talk about how things ended against And both free throws are made by Sarah Puckett. 35 to 28 with 542 left in this second quarter. All right, so here goes. Green Bay. Green Bay's at the top of the key. He's going to give it off to uh, the guard. I think that's number eight or something like that. He's going to drive. Kicks it out to Green Bay. Green Bay's going to drive and goes back. Oh, what a good pass there, but good defense there by Tennessee, but they get it back, and they get it, and that's going to be a turnover. Green Bay Green Bay turns the ball over, and that will be Tennessee's basketball. So many turnovers in the second quarter for Green Bay right now. They got to be a little bit more controlled. Two weeks since that game, it's a long time, but the they got to be a little bit more controlled. All right, so here goes the handoff. And here goes the three. And three by Jazz, by Jewel Spear. Let's go. Jewel Spear, man. Jewel Spear, man. I'm telling you all. I'm telling y'all, man. Jewel Spear has been a difference maker for Tennessee in this game. Let's go. Shout out to the 11 that's watching. We really greatly appreciate it. Let me know in the comments on what team that you're taking here. Are you taking Green Bay or are you taking Tennessee? Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments below. Put it in the comments below and let me know what team that you are taking today. We greatly appreciate the support of y'all showing mad love, man. Shout out to the 14 that's watching. Put it in the chat on who y'all got winning today between Green Bay and Tennessee. Who you taking? Did you bet on this game? Did you bet on this game? We really, we, we really appreciate all the love. All the love coming up in here, you know? I don't know what just happened, but... <laughs> oh, that's what happened. My bad. I'm like, what is this? But it's all good. It's all good. It is all good. I didn't know that was going to happen. But shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. Make sure y'all come on in and hit that like button. Thumbs up. We got 14 people. We have 12 people in the chat. Let's get the 12 likes. Let's get the 12 likes. We really do appreciate the love and support. This is one of three games that I'm doing today. I'm doing two women's basketball games and one men. And then tomorrow, I'm doing two men's basketball games and one women's basketball game. So it's a lot of live streams that we're going to be doing. We're going to be hanging out, having a good time. Hopefully, I can get me some pizza. Hopefully, I can get me something to eat. I don't know. I don't know. But um, hopefully, we can do that and we can run to the store and get some things. But I'm waiting on Real To Goose TV. I'm waiting on Real to Goons TV. All right, let me share this out. All right, so here we go. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Here goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it here. Going to look. Gets it off. Going to drive all the way to the basket. Gets it. And that shot is no good. It's going to be rebounded by Tennessee. And Tennessee is going to bring it up on the left wing here. And gets it off. 
didn't want to give it to the big man, but no, it's no all denial there. Top of the key. 20 seconds left for the shot clock. They're going to run their offense. Go at the elbow. The elbow is going to have it here. Going to drive. Mid-range jump shot. Shot is good. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, Tennessee. And here goes Green Bay going to come with their possession right here, top of the key. Like, Tennessee is playing a 3-2 zone here. Like a 3-2 zone man. And here goes the 3 for 22. That's no good. And that's going to be off of Green Bay. And this will be Tennessee ball. And that was Sarah Puckett that made the jumper. Sarah Puckett made the jumper on that last possession for Tennessee. And it's going to be another timeout. It's going to be 40 to 28. Now we're extending this lead a little bit. We are extending this lead a little bit. I am going to throw on a hat. So I will be back, y'all. I'll be right back. And we are at a timeout, ladies and gentlemen. We are at a timeout of an official TV timeout. So make sure y'all come on in, hit that thumbs up. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. We almost there, y'all. We really appreciate everybody being here and being part of my passion and what I, you know, love to do a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, I love what I do. Um, and I can be fully healthy in doing it in the best way that I can, you know, so I'm proud of myself I'm proud of myself, but we're gonna keep this thing going man. We're gonna keep this thing going. We're gonna keep rocking We're gonna keep doing what we do best And you know work from trial and error I got a mad like notifications. <laughs> but we here though, the game is about to come back on. Jumper in Tennessee is dangerous when Jules Spear is aggressive looking. Jules Spear has been actually she's been the turnaround for this team. She's been the turnaround for this team to start in the beginning of the game. I can't even lie to you. Jewel Spear, 11 points so far. 3 of 4 from the 3 point line for Jewel Spear. Alright, so we're back with the game 40 to 28 with 352 left in this quarter before we go into halftime. And here comes Spear. Spear is going to have it. And that's going to be Powell. Powell's going to give it back to Spear. Spear is going to have it. Spear is going to get the pick. And she's going to put him between the legs. She's going to drive with her left, try to split the defenders. Give it to Pucky. Puck is going to pull for the three. Hits the back of the rim, and that is no good. It's going to be rebounded by Green Bay. It goes Green Bay here. Green Bay has it. We get the top of the key, swings it over to the left wing, and gets it on the inside near the foul line. And it's going to drive, put it behind her back, try to split it, gives it off to the guard, drives to the basket, goes up, gets the layup, and the layup is over, overplayed. She missed the wide open layup there for Green Bay, and it's going to be Tennessee's ball. All right, so they're making some substitutions here for Green Bay. Leading rebounder, 
most outstanding player of the world. Our sickles, Powell. Powell is going to bring it up for Tennessee. Powell's going to have is going to give it off to Jackson. Jackson gives it off to Puckett, but it's going to be a foul before the shot went up. So that's going to be another foul on Green Bay. Natalie McNeil. Man, Natalie McNeil, they're talking about her on the television. Um, not, not really, I don't really know too much about Green Bay. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I really don't know too much about Green Bay. But they are a competitive team. That's one thing I can say. They are. And here goes the inbounds. Give it to Jackson. Jackson's going to have it. Gets the pick from Puckett. Jackson's going to get it on the right wing here. And throws it across court. But almost goes out of bounds. Give it to Powell. I mean, Steer. Steer gives it off the Puckett. That's going to be out of bounds. Good defense. Good rotation there by Green Bay. But still, it's going to be Tennessee's ball with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Substitution for Green Bay. And here goes Tennessee. Tennessee's going to have it going to pull for the mid-range jump shot. And Renika Jackson. 11 points for Jackson in this first half so far. 241 left until we go into halftime. And they're going to swing the ball around. Gives it off the top of the key. 15 seconds left for the shot clock. Go with the pick. Give it to 22. 22 is going to have it. Gets it back. And they give it to two. Two is going. Oh, that should have been a travel. I don't know why they didn't call that. Here goes another three for Green Bay. That three is no good. And that's going to be out of bounds. And it will be Tennessee's ball. And Tennessee is getting way better defensively here. They made adjustments to see why that happens. They made adjustments. That's why their scoring is turning into their defense. All right, so here goes Tennessee. Tennessee is going to have it here. Gives it off, and that's going to be considered a travel, and that's a turnover by Tennessee, and it will be Green Bay's ball. Two ten left in this. Two ten left in the second quarter before we go into halftime. All right, so here we go. It goes 22. Give it off to Green Bay. Green Bay is going to get it off the elbow here. 17 seconds left for the shot clock. They're going to run their offense. And gives it back to, gives it back to two. And she wants it in the post. They can't get it. Good defense there. Way to deny her. Good defensively by Tennessee. And going to look. Gets it out. And another three-point shot for Green Bay. That is no good. Hits the back of the rim. And that's going to be off of Tennessee. And it will be Green Bay's ball. All right, so here goes the inbound for Green Bay. They got to get the ball out, and they do. They're right there on the catch. 136 left in this second quarter. Here goes the crossover. She spins. She goes up. Kicks it out. Give it to 22. 22 is going to drive to the basket. Going to look. Goes up. Go up and under. Gets the layup. Layup is no good. Rebounded by Puckett. Here comes Tennessee. Powell's going to come up on the right wing here. Powell's going to look. Drive. Goes up. And she'll be fouled. The foul. Oh, they call an offensive foul on Jasmine Powell. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, she did force herself in between three people, so I see why that was an offensive foul, so I can understand that. 42 to 28, 116 left in this quarter. All right, so here we go. Here goes Green Bay. Green Bay getting on the left wing, and they're going to pull for another three. And their threes are just not hitting right now, and that's a rebound from Jackson, and that will be a foul with 104 left in his half. Is known for defending without fouling. Eighty-six in the country in the fewest, fewest fouls per game. First in Division One, but yeah. necessary one right there. Yeah, lack of discipline um, several times by picking up fouls. Um, just playing with the rebounder too much. Just get back on defense, and Tennessee's been able to capitalize, get to the free throw line here. And the first foul shot is good. Jackson at the strike. So it makes it 43 to 28 with 104 left. Both foul shots is made by Jackson. 44 28 with 104 left. Make sure y'all come on in, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. We got 13 likes so far. Let's get to 20. 
Let's get to 20. So here goes Green Bay. Green Bay's going to come up and try to bring this ball up and try to get some points on the board here. And here goes the dribble. Gives it off to the guard on the right wing. Right wing going to drive all the way to the left, but it was denied. And they're going to pull for another three. And another three hits the back of the rim. No good. And that's going to be a rebound for Tennessee. And Jackson is going to bring it up, push it up for Puckett. Puck is going to have it, give it off to the big woman. Oh, good pass there, but almost missed it. Goes up, gets the layup. Layup is no good, and that's going to be a defensive rebound for Green Bay. 32 seconds and counting left. And 22 seconds left. And they wasting a lot of time to get a shot off. Drive all the way to the basket. Goes up. Mid-range jump shot. Air ball. Defense, defense is good. So a good rebound by Jackson. They're going to hold for the last shot here. And Jackson wants it with seven seconds left on the clock. Six, five, four. Uh, and she loses the ball. And she gets called for the foul. So 1.5 seconds left. So that would be the end of it, and that would be the end of the half, ladies and gentlemen. That would be the end of the half. It was a competitive first quarter, but Tennessee ended the half on a 16-2 run for the Tennessee Lady Vols. So we are at halftime, ladies and gentlemen. We are at halftime. Thank y'all for tuning in. We really greatly appreciate y'all tuning in to Women's College Basketball. We will be doing another one right after this with Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Buc uh, Hawkeyes. We'll be going up against Holy Cross Crusaders. So we're going to go into the quick box score real quick and go into some game stats. And then we're going to chill and make sure y'all go grab a snack, go do what y'all have to do, and we'll be back here for it. So let's get straight into the box score when it comes to this. So for the Green Bay Phoenix, so you have uh, Kudrakowicz with three points. You have Sherbert with six. You have Butler with three points. You have McNeil with four. And you have Schultz with six. Now, you have a few people off the bench with uh, Jinky with three and Anderson with three. So when it comes to the Green Bay Phoenix, right, they're, they start off shooting the ball very effectively and very well in that first quarter. But they, Tennessee has gotten down, got better defensively in that second quarter and was able to get them to move and, and get them to be one be, be uh, one dimensional is, you know, forcing them to drop to the basket at the end of the day. So right now, when it comes to the field goals, Green Bay is shooting 12 of 31 from the field, only 38.7%. They are 4 of 12 at the three-point line with 33.3 point percent. They have not went to the foul line at all in this first half. So Tennessee is playing great defense on the defensive side. You know what I'm saying? So not getting any free throws and going to the free throw line. Now let's go to the Tennessee Lady Volunteers. Now the Lady Volunteers started out really, really slow in that first quarter, but they picked up the intensity and they started defensive rebounding and they started playing great defense and communicating on the defensive side of the ball. That converts into, you know, that converts into, uh, that converts into points. I'm sorry, my ear was itching. But let's get into the box score here. Now you do have Jackson with 13. That leaves all team with, with leave all team from both teams at 13. Then you have Key. Key has two. You have Puckett with nine. You have Jasmine Spear with 11, which that really came up good in the second half, in my personal opinion. Then you have Jasmine Powell with two. You have Stripling with two. You have Darby with five. So, with the Tennessee Volunteers, I'm going to be completely honest with you, they were 17 of 26, shooting 65.4% from the field. I think that's really good, in my opinion. I think that's really good. I think that's very effective, you know, especially being the points in the paint as well. 55.6% for the three-point line. They are five of nine. That's really efficient for me. I think they can shoot the ball a little bit better from the outside, but they got to go get some offensive rebounds and, and make things a little bit better. But they're five of five for the three-point line. That is 100%. That is good, in my opinion. That is good. And at the end of the day, I still feel like Tennessee just got to keep buckling down and making sure they're not getting those wide open shots they gave up in the first quarter against this Green Bay team. This Green Bay team look like they're going to be very resilient and try to come back in this game. But 
that is your box score first half stats from me and everything else so i will see y'all in the second half of this game which was tennessee up 24 i mean tennessee's up 44 to 28 is a darian hopkins sports show go grab your snacks go grab your drink grab you whatever you need to grab and i'll see y'all in the second half
All right, so we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with the second half of this game. Here goes the Tamari Key. Tamari Key with the layup, and she will be fouled. Feel like she's going to get two at the line here. So here goes the first foul shot for Tamari Key. And that first foul shot is missed. For Tammy Sauter, there is the busiest <laughs> mom in show business right now. Well, and the second foul shot is made by Tamari Key. 45 to 28. She knows how to pack for her two daughters who are both playing in the NCAA tournament. All right, so here goes Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it go down to the post. Tries to square up. She's trying to look for an open person. She backs down, looks, goes up, and that's going to be, oh, that's an all, that's all ball. I'm sorry. That's all ball. That is all ball. The first foul shot is good. So Kudrakowitz at the free throw line, averaging eight points a game. Team lead. And the second foul shot for Green Bay, and that one is good as well. First free throws for Green Bay. Yes, did not attempt. Fifteen point lead for Tennessee here. He goes Powell. Powell is going to have it. Give it off the spear. Spear looks. She want to get it in the post to key, but get it off to Jackson. Jackson's going to look. Mid-range jump shot the foul line. Shot is good. Makes it a 17-point lead for Tennessee. There goes Green Bay. Green Bay has it here. Give it off to the left wing. Give it off to their shooter, number 34. 34 has it. Gives it off to one. One gives it off to 24. 24 go with the layup. Layup is no good, and she'll be fouled, and she'll get two at the line. First foul shot is good. A reminder, Fort Street every NCAA Women's Championship game is on the networks of ESPN. You can find more information at NCAA.com. And the second foul shot is good. All 90 NCAA Championships. Round one continuing today. Round two coming up tomorrow. All right, so here we go. 47 to 32, 853 left in his third quarter. There goes Tennessee. Tennessee's going to drive all the way to the basket. Looks, goes up, gets the layup to Tamari Key, and that's going to be too easy all day. 49 to 32. Tennessee is up over Green Bay. There goes a three-pointer for Green Bay. Hits the back of the rim, and that's going to be, oh, same team, same team. So Jackson gets it. Hit goes Powell. Powell's going to bring it up for Tennessee. Rebounding was a story in that second quarter, too, Tennessee was a plus eight. Rebound. All right, so Hickle took uh, Tamari Key. Tamari Key has it, and that's a missed layup there. Rebounded by Green Bay. Green Bay's going to bring it up. She's at the top of the key. Give it off to the left wing of the guard. All right, so here we go inside the foul line. Gives it off to the back door cut. No good. Good defense there by Tennessee. And here goes the three for Green Bay. And they, they needed that three. Oh, they needed that three. They needed that three there. But 35-49, Tennessee is still up. Here goes Powell. Powell is going to have it try to give it off to Jackson. Jackson can't get it. Here goes the, out, the outlet. Go to it. The foul and one. There we go, Jackson. That's good ball, ball movement there. Good ball movement. That's an all day and one 
for the future lottery pick. That is the third personal foul on Maddie Schreiber, so she'll head to the bench, and Kelly Genki will come on. And the second foul shot is good. Three-point play. That's crazy that Green Bay is 27 and 27 and 6. That goes crazy. And that shot is no good, and that's gonna be a rebound. But it's gonna be a foul. That'll be her third personal foul for Dyer. Seven twenty-three left in this third quarter. We have a score of fifty-two to thirty-five. All right, so here we go. Here goes Powell. Powell is going to bring it up. Gives it off. Looks. Give it to the spear. I'm not too sure, but puck it with the three and the three. Bang, bang, baby. And it, so now is a 20 point game for Tennessee. 20 point game. And a block by Tamari Key. Gets the offensive rebound and she gets the rebound for Tamari Key. Good defensive rebound there. And here comes Tennessee. Here goes Spear. Spear. Oh! Oh, she. Oh my gosh. She had her turning her head crazy. Had her turning her head crazy. And here we go. Gives it off, looks, spins, fadeaways, hook shot. That is good. First points for Jenna Geyer. All right, so first points for Dyer here. Here goes Powell. Powell's going to give it off to Pucky. Pucky's going to give it to Key. Key's going to go up. She's going to look. She loses. Get the ball back, and the layup is good for Tamari Key. Good job. 602 left in this third quarter. We have a score of 37-57, 20 point game so far here for the Tennessee Lady Vols. And here goes the pick. Goes up, kicks it, goes for the three. And that three hits the back of the rim, no good. And it'll be a re defensive rebound for Tennessee. Just get out in transition. Oh, what a good pass by Powell to puck it. There we go, baby. Yeah. There we go. And Green Bay comes wide open for their three. And that is no good. Another defensive rebound by Puckett. And here comes Tennessee Volunteers. Gives it off to Jackson. Jackson with the layup. Misses it. Gets her own rebound. Foul and one. Let's go. All cylinders clicking right now for Tennessee. Rekia Jackson. Hey, just... Grab me an extra rebound here and get the and one. Let's go. Come on. From Jackson and company for Tennessee leading the way. Really extending this lead. And a timeout is going to be called. Uh, timeout is going to be called, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be right back. I'm going to give me a, a, a bottle of water. I'll be right back.
What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This speaks to how tough. So here we go. All right, so make sure y'all come on in, hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel. All right, so here we go. Great 522 left in his third quarter, 62 to 37, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, like All right, so here we go. Pickles Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it here on the right wing. They're going to dribble, give it back to the top of the key. And here goes the top of the key, gives it off. And goes. Here goes 24 with 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Looks. Goes up, spins around, gets it, and that floater is good. It makes it 39-62 with 4.53 left. All right, so here we go. And here goes 21. 21 for the three. And that's Tardy with the three-point shot there. All right, so here we go, 65-39 with 4.25 left. And here goes the steal. Good defense there by Tennessee. Oh, my God. Hold on, y'all. All right, so that's going to be 4.05 left. But make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. This is Darian Hopkins Sports Show. We definitely are in the building. Y'all see this game.
All right, so we back, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. We are back. We are back. All right, so this game is about to come back on real quick. This game is about to come on real quick. Let's have this play-by-play -play and reactions. So, Caitlin Clark, ladies and gentlemen, Caitlin Clark is averaging 31.9 points a game. Juju Watkins with 22.7 points a game. And then you have Hannah Higelo with 23.3. So it's one fourth in one three and fourth. All right, so here we go. Green Bay outscored here in this third quarter. Green Bay has it here. Just inside four minutes to go here in the third. And here goes the drop to the basket for Green Bay. And that shot is good, ladies and gentlemen. That shot is good. So it'll be 4165. 41-65. All right, so there goes the offensive rebound. Offensive rebound has it. Looks double team here, and that's going to be and like it's going to be a, a jump ball between Green Bay and Tennessee here. All right, so here goes the inbounds. Give it up to 22. 22 is going to have it here. Looks is going to give it off to 24. 24 is going to pass it off on the right wing. And here goes the drop to the basket. Looks good with the floater. Floater's no good. That's too hard. And that's going to be a shot clock violation on Tennessee. Good job. All right, so 41-65, 258 left in the third quarter. And here we go. Here goes Hardy. Hardy is going to have it. Go give it off to Puckett. Puckett is going to give it off to Jackson. Jackson on the left-hand wing. And Jackson is going to get it. And that's going to be a, a moving screen here. That will be a moving screen on the Tennessee Vols. Looks down low, and I really like the way that she's been substituting today. All right, so 240 left in this third quarter. 230 left in this fourth quarter. I mean, third quarter. I'm sorry. And here we go. Give it off to 24. 24 is going to have it here. And give it off to 12. 12 has it. Goes, oh, good backdoor pass, but it's going to be a foul on the play. And that's like that's going to stay on the floor. All right, so 20 seconds left. And back inside, Butler could get it to go, and Stripling's got the rebound. All right, so here we go. Here goes the drive all the way to the basket. Position. Anderson stood ground defensively, bodies on the floor, mm. and a tie-up. Basketball. 41 65 with 210 left in his third quarter. All right, so here we go. And here goes the headset. I mean, I mean, here goes the the the. And here goes drive to the baseline, and she loses her balance. She gets double team in the corner, and then look, it's going to be a foul there. But look at this first round versus Maryland. Audie Crook, 40 points, 18 of 20, 12 points there. I don't know what just happened. Um. All right, so here we go. LSU, LSU winning yesterday. Strickland's going to get called for the foul. 
That's going to be another foul called here. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. Thank you, Arizona 38-23. That's the men's game, right? That's the men's game, right, brother? And here goes the three-pointer for Pluckett. And that three is no good. Get the offensive rebound. Offensive rebound here kicks it out. Eight seconds left. That's the women's game or the men's game? All right, so 41.8 seconds left. So 41.8 seconds left. All right, so here we go. 32 point, 32 point. And here we go, gets it off. Here go Green Bay. Green Bay is going to have it. Looks and. And six, all right, so 17 seconds left. That was a missed shot by Green Bay, 68 to 44. Oh, that's the men's? Oh, okay. Here goes Powell. Powell go with the mid-range jump shot. And that shot is good by Powell. There we go, baby. 70 to 44. 70 to 44. There we go. 70 to 44. Don't let up. <laughs> They're not going to let up. They're not going to let up. They've been dominating the last two quarters. I'm not going to lie. The first quarter, we was, like, really tough. Like, the first quarter was really, really tough. Like, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Like, it was tough. Green Bay was making these shots. I was confused. I was like, oh, man, we might have ourselves a game. We got a third. We got them on a 30 plus spread. Oh, for real? That's dope. But you, but you got me today, goons, right? You got me today, goons, right? I'm. Th you know what? I don't think I'm gonna do the Iowa game. I want them. I want them to play a better team. Honestly, I might not do the hour. I might not do the Iowa game. Do three games today. I don't think I'm gonna do three games today. 
because I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like when it comes to um, Iowa and Holy Cross, I think Iowa's gonna clearly beat them. I don't want it to be another blowout, so I might just do um, wait for it and do Tennessee in Texas. Honestly, then I do my triple header tomorrow. NC State or UNC? Yeah, you can do that too. You could do that too, yeah. But I do want to walk to the. I do want to walk to the store. But we all good over here, man. I hate the women's game like this is why I probably don't have the streamers because I just found the stream that's actually showing the game what you need from the store I need something I'm, I'm, I'm hungry I want some chicken wings or something man I don't want no snacks I'm, I'm hungry man I'm like a hoagie or something all I need is like $20 I ain't even got that <laughs> listen it's a, it's a struggle out here man it's a struggle out here, my boy. But it's crazy to me how they actually showing the game on YouTube and they ain't allowing this shit. They ain't allow them to show the game. I need a Philly, you need a Philly cheesesteak. Okay, I got you. 63% from the floor. I think even more wrestling here because you and I have kind of talked during the break is their defense holding Green Bay to just 36%. Green Bay. And... That offensive rebound by Tennessee. Yeah, that's how they letting them show the game. I don't. That's corny though. They shouldn't even let them show the game. Like how you like you getting my, how the hell you you allowed that to happen? But then you want to shut down my channel twice. So I'm confused by YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm confused by YouTube right now. They shut my YouTube channel down twice, bro. All right, so ninth, so we are in the fourth quarter of this game. Seventy to forty-four, Tennessee is up. And here goes the spin, goes, gets the layup, and the layup is missed. That's a missed opportunity for Green Bay to put points on the board. And here goes Tennessee. Tennessee comes out. Going to give it to Jackson. Jackson with the layup and the foul and one again for Tennessee. I remember, yeah, man, like, that, that goes crazy to me. This is the cutting that we're accustomed to seeing on the other but side. But Jackson is dominating this game so far in the second half. Another and one opportunity. 15 assists for Tennessee. Jackson with the layup. Jackson with the layup. Jackson now with 24. All right, so 73-44. 73-44. Keep it up, y'all. Time this season, 47 time in our career. Doing it for a third straight game. All right, so here we go. Hit the back of the rim. That's going to be an offensive rebound. And Powell goes with the layup, and the layup is no good. But she will get fouled at the line. I wish I could have. I wish. I wish I could have asked you. Then you could have took her. What you mean? What you mean, bro? And the first foul shot is no good. I think they ran into a Tennessee team, and you heard Kelly Harper in the locker room. Oh, ja yeah, you should have asked me about Jackson. Jackson, she's the best player on our team. But, ja but Jasmine Spear, she's really good. I mean, Jasmine Powell is really good, too. And Spear is pretty good, too, for Tennessee. I'm not going to sit there and lie, bro. And here goes the mid-range jump shot. Green Bay shots are just not falling. 
Like they started, to, they was falling in the first quarter, but these last three quarters, they really struggled. 34 rebounds for Tennessee, only 16. 28 points in the paint for Tennessee, 12 for Green Bay. Not many teams get to face the country three times in as short of a time span that Tennessee did. And I think Green Bay, just going up against Tennessee right now, maybe angry, angry that they lost that game to South Carolina. They, they, they should have won that game, felt like that, sat on it for a week and a half during spring break and are channeling it in the right way with this 30-point lead. All right, so here we go. Hickles and the, the good play here. First points for for all he shed with the th with the shot 76 44 eight minutes left in this fourth quarter if they get the 90 before they get the 50 I'm going in the stream bro <laughs> We need that to happen. Facts. We definitely need that to happen. Up oh, never mind. They got 40. They got 48. They got 48. 48. 76. It's crazy how Tennessee has 14 turnovers to only they seven, and Tennessee's up big. He goes Powell. Powell's gonna have it. Gives it off to Jackson. Jackson with the layup. It is good. So 78. 78, <laughs> 78 <laughs> to 48 with seven minutes left. And that is no good. And here goes another layup, and that's going to be fouled there. I know that's that's mad funny, right? <laughs> All right, so first game. This game is in the books. WNBA draft is Monday, April 15th. I will be doing the WNBA draft right here on the Darian Hopkins Sports Show. So 7.30 is going to be at the Brooklyn Academy of Music for the WNBA draft. We will be in a building for that. Here goes Green Bay here. Green Bay's trying to get the 50 points. Can they get the 50 points right here? And they do. They get the 50 points, ladies and gentlemen. They get the 50 points. And the layup is good by Spear. 81 to 50. If they get the 90 before they get the 60. Oh, what a good steal there by Puckett. Puckett's going to go all the way down and drive to the basket. Gets the layup, and that is good. If they get the 90 points before they hit 60, I'm ending the stream, bro. You should do WrestleMania. I am doing WrestleMania. I'm actually am doing WrestleMania. <laughs> What's up, Cody? He was good. He was good. I am doing WrestleMania, bro. I might be doing. I might be doing a WrestleMania party, honestly. Make sure y'all salute. Make sure y'all come on in. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel of the Darian Hopkins Sports Show. I'm only going to do two games today. Uh, when it comes to women's basketball, it seems like I picked the wrong games. <laughs> it's like I picked the wrong games. I, 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 I'll probably just do more men's games than women's games, in my opinion. But I just try to show love to everybody. But I'm going to wait till like the final four to buy do the women's games. So we can know who the best four in the in the country is. Or probably the Elite Eight or something of that nature. Because when it comes to these games, all games is going to be blowouts today. Even in the men's or the women's. Because the men's Tennessee versus Texas, that's the game I'm doing. 
number two Tennessee versus number seven Texas in the men's in the men's bracket. I see today Tennessee is the favorite tonight. Yeah, they are. They are the favorite tonight. But I think that's what, oh for the ladies, yeah. Yeah, because I'm thinking about because I, I had to, I had to think about it doing Iowa's game with Caitlin Clark versus Holy Cross, and I'm just like, do I really want to do that game because that's going to be a blowout? Yeah, I'm not going to do that game. I'm not going to do that game. I'm just going to do this game and do the men's game at eight o'clock and call it a day. It's like I had my break in between. Yeah, we in the building, man. Yo, I, I don't know how I'm going to do this because UFL comes on next week. And look at my girl, Pat Summit, Tennessee head coach from 1981 to 2012. The greatest college basketball coach of all time. Y'all can say what y'all want. It's no debate. It's no debate. I don't care about Gino Oriema. I don't care about none of that. Kelly Harper, Pat Summit, and Shamiqua Hostel. Kelly Harper is the head coach of the Tennessee Volunteers. She's the head coach of the Tennessee Volunteers. And just keeping that legacy alive. We got to go to another, another national championship, though. We got to. NCAA tournament history for Tennessee. The only team to compete in all 42 NCAA tournaments. Our overall record is 103 and 33 in the, in the NCAA tournament. The foul, and she'll get two at the line. And the first foul shot is good. And that shot is no good. 83 to 52. Can Tennessee get the 90 before they get the 60? And that's going to be a foul away from the basketball here. Well, did you think Tennessee would have trouble flushing what happened in Greenville? Steffi, you were there. You felt that energy in the building in Greenville. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously a huge question coming into the tournament is what, what Tennessee team will we see versus the first half? Tennessee really didn't come to play. I remember sitting with Nikki Fargus on the set, and Tennessee, or Nikki went to Tennessee, and she felt like you know, they didn't show up. She's got the right to say that, right? Down 23 in the first half. And, and to their credit, they fought all the way back to have that lead. And I thought that second half team for Tennessee, they can control their destiny how far they want to go in this tournament, and that's how they play. So far, 83 points, the way that they've defended and scored, they have very much looked like the kind of caliber team that can go far in this tournament. It looks like a continuation of the second half. They have scored South Carolina, undefeated South Carolina, 15-38 in the second half, and it would have been 50-35 were it not for a pack three at the buzzer. It's not really too much play-by-play that I could do, uh, Real Tagoons. 
there's not really too much to do when it comes to play by play. 83 to 56, Tennessee has dominated this game in the last three quarters. If you look at the scoreboard, right? If you look at the scoreboard, you see the first, the first quarter was close, 21 to 23. Green Bay was only down two. And then we scored 21 in the second. We scored 26 in the third. And we scored 14 in the fourth. We might score 20 in this quarter, too. Oh, what a good reverse layup there. We need 30 plus points. It's 86 to 56. It's 86 to 56. That's more than 30 points, right? Because the scoreboard didn't change yet. It's 86 to 56. Three point shots, no good. All right, so 3.40 left. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. I'm not going to end this live. I'm going to just let this, just don't get no fouls, Tennessee or Green Bay. Just let the clock run. Just let the clock run at this point. The foul and one again for Tennessee. That makes that 89. Here we go. Here we go, uh, Goons. Here we go. That makes that 89. And a foul shot for the three-point play. That is good. It makes it 88. Not necessarily tougher. She, she's a tough player, but taller. 89 to be exact. 89. So tough job, really my, the three is no good. 89-56. About to get to 90 points. This is a tough loss for Green Bay. It was 27 and six. Two minutes and 55 seconds. All right, so here we go. So on the three on three, go drive all the way to the basket, gets the layup. And that is it, y'all. We have hit 90 before they hit 60. Should we stay on this game? Should we stay on this game? They hit 90, 91 to 56. Should we end this game right now? Ninety-one fifty-six. This is a pure blowout. Well, I should end it. No, stay on. No, okay. Well, it's a it's it's a minute it's a minute and fifty six seconds left. Just don't foul nobody. Just run the clock out. Just run the clock out at this point. That's it. Just run the clock out at this point. Oh, they called the foul. So now it's a minute. May as well. You know what I'm saying? May as well. You know. <laughs> All right, so uh, Rekia Jackson. Rekia Jackson, 26 points, 10 of 14 from the field, and nine rebounds. She's definitely going to be a first-round pick in the WNBA draft. Rekia Jackson. She played really good, though. She 
played really good tonight. I'm not going to lie. I'm not even going to do no box score, bro. I'm not going to do that. But for Kia Jackson, you said you heard it. 26 points, 10 of 14 from the field, and nine boards. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. And that foul shot is good. So Green Bay, their season comes to a close. 27 and 7. They'll end up winning 10 of their last 12 games, including picking up a Verizon championship. Tough loss, tough loss for Green Bay, but my Tennessee Vols, and I'm doing another Tennessee game tonight. Tennessee and Texas. You know I'm down for that. 126 and counting. Tip to the hands of Strickland, followed up by Wynn. Oh my God, why y'all keep fouling? Just let the clock run, Jesus Christ. That's a foul on Jenna Geyer. She'll be greeted by Megan Vogel. Megan coaching her last game for First foul shot is good. We got Tennessee six and a half point spread against Texas. Okay. That might be a little bit more competitive game, unfortunately. Not unfortunately, but you get what I'm saying. Three points now for win. All right, so we're going to be under a minute. Back out top. Three on the way. A little too strong, and Kaya Wynn's got the rebound for Tennessee. Final minute. It was a two-point game at the end of one quarter. Just don't shoot the ball, Tennessee. Stop shooting the ball. Just run the clock out. I don't like that about Tennessee. Like, just, just shoot the clock out. Y'all got this game in the bag, for real. They're not coming back with 35 seconds left. All right, so 60, so just, just, just run the clock out. Just run, no, don't tell them to keep scoring. Stop that, goons. Stop that, goons. It's called sportsmanship, bruh. I don't care if you bet or not. It's called sportsmanship, bruh. Okay, I don't know what just happened here. All right, 92 to 63 is your final, ladies and gentlemen. 92 to 63 is your final. Tennessee advances to the second round. It's a tough loss for Green Bay. You know, a lot of them seniors are moving on. Um, their season is over. It's a heartbreak. It's a heartbreaker, man. You know, you come out, you try to give your all, and it just didn't happen the way it happened. So um, that is your final, 63 to 92. Uh, Tennessee will play the winner out of UC NC State in Chattanooga. Um, we will play the winner out of that. Um, they fucked. They fucked at the. <laughs> you know what, goons? I'm done with you, bro. I'm done with you, bro. But thank y'all for tuning in to another uh, Lady Vols um, live stream or college basketball live stream. I will be back at eight o'clock tonight. Eight o'clock tonight for Texas in Texas in Tennessee men's basketball game I will be doing that one and then we'll be done for today um until then I will see y'all later make sure y'all comment like and subscribe to the YouTube channel this is the Darian Hopkins Sports Show um if you want to send cash app cash at me at D Hopkins Show um you know anything is appreciated we really do appreciate it here uh but this is a good game coming on next though Michigan um, I think this is Kent State and Notre Dame, if I'm not mistaken. But hey, it is what it is. See y'all later. Comment, like, and subscribe. We out of here. Bang, bang. Peace.